Apple may be working on a really strange Mac, at least according to this patent, which shows essentially an entire Mac crammed inside of a keyboard. How would it look like? And does this idea even make sense? To answer these questions, I mean a concept. But first, even though this idea sounds weird looking at today's Apple, it's not actually new. The first computer Apple ever produced was pretty much that. The patent shows essentially the Magic Keyboard, but assuming the product is real in the first place, I don't think it will look like that. The Magic Keyboard is ridiculously thin. Yeah, Apple Silicon is efficient, but they would have to put an entire computer in there. Think about the Mac Mini, for example. The point of the Magic Keyboard design is to perfectly line up with the trackpad. If the keyboard was to become even remotely taller, which is what I'm assuming would happen, this whole idea simply wouldn't work anymore, so I opted for a different design. If you think about it, what this computer would have to store is just what's already inside of the bottom part of a MacBook Pro, minus the battery and the trackpad. So why not reuse that design? There's a problem though. Some leakers are talking about an alleged Mac Mini with an M1 Pro, which would explain why the Mac Studio only starts from the M1 Max. But if we assume that this Mac board, which is how I'm going to call it from now on, would start with an M1 Pro as the base option, exactly like the MacBook Pro from which it would borrow parts of the design, then we'd have two different Macs, this one and the Mac Mini, basically competing in the same exact niche. The only real differences are the design and the I.O. But why would anyone choose this one? Yeah, having a keyboard is nice, until it breaks and you have to send the entire computer to be fixed, plus you'd have worse cooling and a worse selection of ports. Personally, I'd always choose the Mac Mini form factor over this one, but what about Apple? Well, they'd be able to sell a Mac to a specific group of people they seem to be very interested in nowadays, while mainly using parts from one of their most popular offerings. I'm definitely no supply chain expert, but I suspect it would be better for them financially. So, is it happening? Over the years, Apple has filed all kinds of patents for all kinds of ideas, many of them which never became a reality. Compared to many of the other patents they've filed in the past, this one actually makes a bit more sense. But it's Apple. One of the fundamental aspects about desktop computers, I'm sure many designers at Apple have recurring nightmares about, is the fact that they have ports, and from those ports, usually cables tend to come out. But if something like the Mac Studio can be hidden if you want to, and it's easier to do cable management that way, with a Mac board that's not an option. The keyboard is on the computer after all, it requires you to position it where it can be easily used and thus seen. Many have joked about the Magic Mouse, let's say, peculiar placement of the charging port. But why do you think they made it like that? They aren't stupid. Of course they know it prevents you from using it while it's charging. That's intentional. They don't want you to use it with a cable attached. The idea is that it must always feel magical. And that's true about everything they make. They hate cables. Apple is like this, they make some really cool stuff, but sometimes they just make some weird decisions, like the ones I talked about in this other concept here. Check it out if you want. Ciao!